Oh, now you've done it. Are we live? Yes, you're live. Right. Oh, we are live. <laughs> that always seems to happen to us. Okay, so I almost don't know where to begin because there's so much going on. But we are so excited and so looking forward to this next adventure. But it's also extremely scary and extremely nerve-wracking. But it's what we've chosen to begin. So this whole journey has started with, um, <laughs> sorry, I have little ones, um, with us realizing what we want and our end goal. We have a goal in mind to, all right, so it's called Beacon Hill. We have this refuge slash school slash amazing place for people to go that they're able to come and rebuild who they are and relearn about their core functions and how to heal their full existence. And this end goal is massive and huge and glorious. And we've been trying to figure out how we can take a step forward towards it. And the first idea that came to our mind is we just need to step forward into building on some land. Yeah. So we're, our plan is get some land um, right away. We've been looking at a whole bunch of different places that are around the, this valley that we're in. And we've located quite a few that interest us. And so sometime in the next couple of weeks, we'll be pulling the trigger and picking up some land. And um, I guess taking the first step from there. Yeah. So <laughs> the adventure begins with us downgrading our home from a, you know, five bedroom, three bath home that we're living in right now to basically an RV something else <laughs> it's basically so we'll be we'll be living on our land um, essentially in temporary housing whether it's an RV or a big canvas tent type structure or something <laughs> but it'll be temporary living um, while we build um, the first section of our house yeah um, on the property so we've designed our full refuge which is a nice it's a huge home but it's it's meant for people to be able to stay at so that they can uh, learn through learn all the things that we're teaching as well as to be a refuge for people that just need a place to stay as they're transitioning to something else and so the home is going to be a lot bigger um, than what we start with but right. uh, it'll be designed basically with just a very small um, 600 square foot home uh, with loft area and uh, <laughs> essentially a tiny home except that it's actually it's actually a section of what the big home will be when it's done so right. uh, we'll be pulling out building permits to build the first section once it's done move into it um, and then pull out another set of, of building permits to start doing the expansion to start building the rest of the home thank um, you Ashley <laughs> so <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of fun um, and it's you know in a way it's a downgrade because it's we're moving from a small home to a, to a or from a bigger home to a smaller home but honestly it's an upgrade um, for once, we actually get to own the place we're at. Um, no fear of landlords kicking us out or, or contracts coming up and have to leave or um, anything, anything like, that. like that. So Over the last 12 years, we've always rented, and we've paid over seven one over $174,000 in rent. Rent. Is that not mind-blowing? And so this um, new adventure we're going on, I honestly, I feel like a hypocrite half the time because <laughs> I have so laughed at people who said they're going to go live in an RV. And I'm like, oh, who would do that? I would hate doing that. And here I am <laughs> about to start a new adventure and stop moving forward. We have some technical difficulties over there. And so we're doing it. We're going to, it's, it's crazy. And I don't know. So what are some of your fears going into this? Uh, my biggest fear would probably be, you know, my wife uh, hating me through the process. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be crazy. Um, you know, it's the nice thing is, you know, moving from where we're at to to this process. Um, we're we're changing, you know, right now, m minus our food bill, we're paying about twenty one hundred dollars a month in bills. And uh, the process of moving down and living on the land um whether it's an RV or like I said, living in, in a, a structure we built over the under or in the canvas tent or whatever, whatever direction it goes, we're not sure exactly where it's going to go yet, but uh, whatever direction that goes, um, we're going to be saving uh, right around $1,700 a month 
um, by doing this. And the the first section, that first home that we we have blueprinted out to to build, um, it's only going to cost us twelve thousand dollars to build. Um, the permits are another three to four thousand dollars for down here, and um, the foundation. I'm actually going to be working on working out a trade with somebody to to have the the cement slab poured. Um, but uh, it's only going to cost us twelve thousand dollars to get it, get built, the which means part. yeah, which means seven saving seventeen hundred bucks a month. Um, we have, we basically have about seven eight months of uh, pouring that putting that money right back into the yeah. into building this, and then we can be out of our temporary housing and into the new home. Um, and the home with with the uh, it's actually a two story home, but it's but it's built as a kind of more of a tiny home. So the upper floor is is uh, essentially an attic, but it's livable space. Yeah. And uh, it'll be sitting about 1,200 square feet, but we'll be able to build it for $12,000, whereas a home that size, um, all the quotations we've, we've had for that are closer to 90000 to build. So um, it's a ton of ton of savings. Well worth doing it. Just uh, It's just going to be an adventure while we go forward. Yeah, it's going to be a big adventure. I would say my number <laughs> – he is, sorry, it's nap time, I think, or something. Um, my number one fear, I think, me going forward is what people are going to think of us. <laughs> I'm always so paranoid about what like, people are going to think we're crazy. And I guess that can be the least amount of fear. <laughs> so if, if that's it, that's all I'm going to be truly worried about. I mean, I guess there is also stress that I have with from downsizing to a small home <laughs> with a big family, but... Yeah, so here we are, beginning a new phase of our life, and we invite you all to join in our journey with us. We, we're going to be posting our actual design plans. We're going to be posting more and more of what the end vision will look like. Yeah, so Cam, and Cammie and I both shared um, a link to our blog. Um, right now, the first post is just text. you got to read it, but it's it does explain a lot more. Um, but every day, every week, kind of as we move forward, we're going to start posting our um, blueprints of what we plan, uh, pictures as we move forward, updates every day as we kind of adjust to, I guess, the new lifestyle of living that way as we move forward. Um, but I have to say, we are not minimalists. We have no intention of building some little tiny home and staying in a tiny home. We, we, like our we love that style. We, we give props to everybody that does that, but we plan on that being – a massively short term term scenario. So once uh, you know, once eight nine months are gone and we're we're into the small uh, smaller home, we don't stop. We immediately start building on and, and expanding it to the the full size of the of the refuge that we we actually want to build on the property. Yeah. So here we go. Yeah, it'll be a lot of fun, and we we will have more people involved. Right now, it's um, there's just a few of us kind of involved with it, but uh, yeah. We do have other people that share our dreams of our refuge, and we'll we'll explain that dream a lot more through our blog, um, as well as in future videos and stuff, so you can understand where the what, actual end goal is going and what our thoughts. Because it, it's it. big, it's awesome, it's amazing, and um, there's a cool. lot of people, probably some of you that are listening, that would probably love to be a part of that. So, and we'd love to have you. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for joining us today. And if you have any questions, we're super open. Yeah. Talk to us. We'll talk back. And yes, we're scared poopless, but and super, super excited. excited. <laughs> <laughs> so Hi. love you all. Love we, you. we will see you as we go forward. Woohoo! <laughs>